Artificial intelligence is changing the business landscape in a way we've never seen before. It can sift through massive amounts of data in just seconds. It creates engaging content and handles tedious tasks automatically. AI is doing all of this across various industries today. And speaking of today, it is October 29th, 2024. My name is Nicodemus and welcome back to the Disruptive Technologies Podcast. So over the last year, AI adoption has increased rapidly. A 2024 McKinsey report revealed that six years ago, only about half the organizations used AI. This number has jumped to 72% this year. Even more striking, 199 companies on the S&P 500 mentioned AI in their first quarter earnings call. The five-year average, only 80 mentions. So this surge shows just how essential AI is becoming in the business world. It's made an impact in digital identity. Digital identity is information that uniquely identifies a person or entity online. It enables activities like online shopping, banking, and social networking. The digital identity market grew to nearly a trillion dollars in 2024. It's expected to exceed 1.3 trillion by next year. This growth demonstrates how intertwined our personal and business lives have become with digital interactions. Now you can really see AI's influence on digital identity in three main areas, cybersecurity, data privacy, and fraud detection. And so let's break these down. Now cybersecurity has had both benefits and challenges from AI. On one hand, AI enhances the ability to detect and respond to threats more quickly and accurately. Benu Shastri from CrowdStrike explains that AI integration boosts threat detection and overall resilience. This improvement is a key driver behind the growth in the digital identity sector. However, AI also poses new threats. Tools like Passgan, which is an AI-powered password cracking tool, can break into over half of the passwords in under a minute. This creates a constant race between developing AI defenses and combating AI-driven attacks. With 82% of Americans worried about AI-related threats, safeguarding digital identities is more critical than ever. Data privacy is another area deeply affected by AI, because AI needs large data assets to train models, which increases the risk of data leaks. For example, a healthcare company may use patient records to train an AI system, and if those records are leaked, it could lead to scams and privacy violations. So to combat this, synthetic data is what's used. Synthetic data is artificially created information that mimics real data. It protects personal privacy while providing valuable information for analysis and AI training. AI has also had a major impact on fraud detection and prevention. That sector is growing rapidly. It's expected to grow from $28 billion in 2024 to over $63 billion by 2029. AI helps businesses keep their online interactions safe by adapting to new types of fraud. As more data is used in various applications, AI's ability to manage and understand this data becomes invaluable. It drives growth in related fields like financial identity and biometrics. Now, for business leaders, it's going to be critical to stay updated with the latest AI technologies. By understanding how companies capture, store, and share digital identity data, businesses can begin building strong foundations. These foundations support growth while maintaining security. Traditional security measures like passwords are becoming outdated. Many people will not be surprised to find out that passwords are no longer the best way to protect our online identities. A report from SpecOps in January 2024 found that 88% of organizations still rely on passwords as their main form of authentication. Weak passwords like 123456 are still the most common. Experts like Darren James from SpecOps notes that passwords remain a weak link in cybersecurity. AI advancements have made it easier for attackers to exploit these vulnerabilities. Now, this shift away from passwords is leading to the rise of biometric authentication. Biometric authentication uses unique physical traits like fingerprints or facial recognition to verify identities. Tim Ward from Think Cyber emphasizes the need for security measures that are both secure and user-friendly. Biometric systems offer advantages like uniqueness, convenience, and speed. However, they also have challenges. Privacy concerns and the risk of biometric data breaches are major issues. I mean, think about it. You can change a password, but you can't change your fingerprint. You can't change your iris. You can't change how far your eyeballs are apart which is why organizations are looking at behavioral biometrics to address those challenges. So these behavioral biometrics, they continuously verify identities based on user behavior patterns like typing speed or mouse movements. Now, multi-factor authentication is another important development. MFA combines multiple forms of verification, something you know, like a password, something you have, like a smartphone, and something you are, biometric data. This layered approach reduces the risk of unauthorized access. That said, the British Library cyber attack in October 2023 shows that MFA must be implemented comprehensively. Despite having MFA, the library suffered a major data breach because a critical system was left unprotected. Jorge Fernandez from CMVM stressed that MFA is only effective when applied uniformly across all systems. Creating a strong cybersecurity culture within organizations is vital. 
Kai Rower from Praxis Security Labs points out that human factors are responsible for 82% of breaches. Training employees and empowering them to act securely can make a big difference. Now, nudge theory is something that comes out of behavioral science, and they offer strategies to encourage better security practices. By making secure options the default, using visual cues to indicate risks, and providing timely prompts, organizations can create a culture of security that helps prevent breaches. The future of digital identity lies in moving beyond traditional passwords. Embracing innovative authentication methods like biometrics and behavioral science can enhance security and user experience. As businesses adopt these new technologies, they must also educate and train their employees to ensure a smooth transition. So AI is advancing how we handle digital identity. It brings both opportunities and challenges. AI enhances our ability to protect and manage our digital identities. That said, artificial intelligence introduces new threats that require constant vigilance. The key to maintaining secure digital interactions is to embrace new technologies. It's also important to create a strong cybersecurity culture and to keep evolving in your cybersecurity measures. The future is digital. With the right strategies, we can navigate its complexities safely and effectively. And that's going to do it for us this time. Please take just a moment to like, follow, and subscribe so we can reach more listeners just like you. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Disruptive Technologies Podcast. We'll see you next time.